I'm Nicole, and I would like to show you the perch that I made for my green cheek conure, my pineapple green cheek conure pippin. Um, I just finished cleaning his cage and making a video about that, so I thought I'd take the time to show you this as well. So this is a really simple little structure. Uh, it looks a little bit complicated right now, so all this stuff stuck on it that he likes to play with. But basically, what I have is my bedding. Just a basic frame. So to build this, what I did is I took this board, drilled holes up through the bottom, and I countersunk those with a countersink bit so that the screws would dig all the way in so that they wouldn't stick out and make it wobbly when it came down. Then that gave me these. And then I drilled up. No, I didn't. I remember what I did now. What I used is dowel pins on this. I used a 3 8 inch dowel pin to connect these. And so you can actually see these will come apart. So if I ever need to clean it or store it flat or change out the dowel if it gets destroyed, I can do that. So what I had to do here was drill 3 8 inch holes here and in the bottom of this dowel here. And then you just slide them in. That's a nice firm piece and it squares this off really nicely so that it's really sturdy. Um, the reason that I have the branches zip tied to the top to it um, is was originally just because I discovered after I made this that Pippin hates standing on dowels. Uh, he really, really despises dowels, and I don't know why, but um, I have tons of natural birch branches for him anyway, so I don't worry about it. But what I've done here is I zip tied them on just to see if he would stand on them and I made sure that I tied these on, uh, zipped them on super duper tight so that there's no danger of him getting a toenail or something under there and then biting it and tightening it further. But the reason that I left them on here like this is because they are undoubtedly his favorite part of it. Let's see if he'll play with them for you. Come here, Pippa. Here you go. You don't want to play? Come here, Pippa. So this is Pippin. And this is his favorite spot, and he loves these guys. I don't know why, but he does. He loves those. He walks around them, plays with them, chews on them. You can see me. That's fine. Go we'll back over there. That's cool. And then I put this one down here in the same way with zip ties, just because he needed a bit of a ladder to help him get down when he wants to. So the other thing that I do here is I keep it on this little tray. This is an Ikea tray. It is a, of course the name's not on it. I will post the name of this little tray in the comments below so that you can find it on the Ikea website. It's perfect. It washes out really easily. It catches all the gunk. You can tap it out, wash it out, whatever, but it's got this nice edge. This is also a nice edge for him to stand on. So if he gets down, he can hang out there so what I've done is I've taken a little bit of newspaper, cut it to the right size to cover the base so that when he poops, it catches on the newspaper. And then I cut these little things out of it. And then it just lays right on there. So then you can see it's covered, but when I wasn't cutting this to size, the newspaper was sticking out over the edges and then everything was coming out of my little tray here. But when I cut it to the right size, or you can just scoop it under and pin it down there, tuck it down there. But I like to just use a whole stack of paper and cut the little sections all at once and then store them underneath. That makes it super easy to change it every day. And I do change that every day because it gets kind of stinky. He likes to eat a lot of snacks up here, spends a lot of time here just hanging out in the kitchen with me. And um, so of course it gets pretty messy. This is also where I'm doing most of his potty training. So this is the perch that I put him back on about every 10 or 15 minutes to see if he needs to go to the bathroom. Um, he's already getting really good at that. I haven't been pooped on in a couple weeks now, which is fantastic. So that's it. It's a really basic little perch and it was super simple to put together. I'm going to be putting together some more. I've actually got some sticks baking right now, um, trying to get them all cleaned up from outside so that there's no pathogens or disease carrying stuff on there from outside birds. Um, and I will be making some more videos as I make some more purchase for him. You know, stuff on there to play with. So 
That gives him something fun to do. He likes to look at the jewelry. Um, I like to hide the lingerie models from him on the bottom. I don't like to him to get any ideas about that. So, just kidding. So that's it. That's the perch. And thanks for watching.